All right, welcome back. We're talking about water. Yeah, we take it for granted here on the Radio Audra Expeditions. We've got Leah McLaughlin from the Clean Water Foundation Water Purification Project. He's been all over the world bringing clean water to people. Let's get two more callers because I promised to give away some Owner Hooks Pro Packs to callers that call in to tell us what does water mean to them. Roy in San Diego, what does water mean to you? Uh, to me, I, water means fun. I've got four young kids and stuff, so especially in hot days like the, you know, we've had stuff every day this week, man. They've been doing something in the water, kayaking, going to the beach, whatever, swimming. It's To me, it's fun. And imagine, uh, Leon, if Roy was living in one of these countries that you're helping with your foundation and that water was totally polluted, and that if his kids were recreating in that water, creatures from that water uh, 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 environment could be actually getting into the various orifices of their bodies and creating all kinds of little colonies there. And I'm not trying to be gross and graphic here, but when I traveled the Amazon for 14 days, they actually showed us areas that we could not go into the water because of that pollution. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Um, Actually, um, if you actually took a street dog that was out of America and brought it to the Amazon and in Bolivia where I was at, they wouldn't even drink the water that the people are drinking and bathing in. Plus, the worms that you would get. Exactly. It's really bad. It'd be look like it looked like alien, <laughs> little co- little colonies. But Roy, thank you very much, and uh, we've got an owner hooks pro pack going out to you, so you can continue to enjoy the water when you're out there fishing. 